Thanks for helping me escape Jack. Don't mention it. Not happening Jack. I thought you had a wife. Oops. Yes I do. Go away. I need a date. I must need one. Even if I steal someone else's significant other. I better call Vicky. Paul's calling. Hey honey. What's up? It's so nice to hear your voice. You too. Are we still on for dinner? Yes. Of course. Excellent. I'll pick you up after work, after I pay the bills. It's alright honey. I love you. I love you too. Hmm. Time for me to take off. Hmm. Time to go get Vicky. Don't make a sound. What do you want? Drive to the Plotagonia Hotel. I have a room there. Whatever! I demand to know your intentions on why you kidnapped me. Because I need a date. And you're my candidate. Paul should have been here by now. Paul's in trouble. Time to get down to business. Oh no! I'm reporting you to city council. And you can mind your own business. You can't just kidnap anyone and insist on them being your date. According to me, I can. No you can't. Especially if they already have someone to love. But I don't know what love is. Love is a beautiful thing. Something experienced between two people. The right people. I already have someone to love. And you'll find someone too. Now please, let me go. You're still not going anywhere. Ugh, that plan didn't go well. Time for plan B. I'm tired of playing games with you. Hey babe. Honey. Are you okay? I'm perfect. The criminal that you're looking for is subdued in the room. Okay. Who the heck are you? I happen to be his wife. And pretty soon, you'll be back in jail. Jack's been waiting for you. Jack. Yes. I picked him up earlier. Do you think I'm improving with my magic? You're doing great. Mm. I have a confession. I used my magic to defeat that crazy woman. It's okay, honey. I also have another confession. I meant what I said earlier. About loving to hear your voice on the phone? You're such a romantic. I know. It's because. I love you! I love you too. Hmm. Oh. Do we have to watch Paul and Vicky kiss all night? Shut up! They're in love. I wish I was the one kissing Paul instead. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs>